I confess that most of the books that I read are nonfiction, but I am always on the lookout for a good novel. And I recently read one that I really enjoyed. Now, it's not exactly a, a recent novel. Uh, the author has been dead for a while, but I had never encountered it before. And I was uh, very impressed and, uh, and pleased with this novel. The novel I read was The White Plague by Frank Herbert. And if you're thinking, wait a minute, Frank Herbert, who is that? Well, Frank Herbert is the author who wrote the Dune novels. And so you might know him specifically from that. And maybe you assume that all of his novels were in that Dune universe. Well, uh, that is not the case. He wrote a number of books, and one of them was indeed The White Plague. How was this book? Well, disturbing and scary, uh, and for very uh, relevant reasons. But I'll give you just a little bit of background of the basic plot of what's going on here. There is an American geneticist and his family visiting Ireland. And uh, right in front of this uh, scientist's eyes, uh, he sees an IRA bomb go off that kills his wife and two young children, as well as a whole bunch of other people on that street. And this causes the sky to have uh, a complete break. And he has determined to get revenge. Now you might think, well, that sounds good. Uh, we all love a good revenge story. Uh, he's going to go after the uh, the IRA, or at least the the ones who are responsible for that particular bombing. But this is really, really revenge. In fact, it's much more than revenge. Being a geneticist, he actually uh, invents his own disease. And his plan is to infect all of Ireland as well as all of Britain, uh, since he sees Britain as being complicit because they are the ones that have pushed the Irish to respond in this way. But that's not all. He also includes Libya, of all countries, because... Uh, Libya is a country where a lot of terrorists are trained and the uh, particular uh, people who are responsible for this bombing receive their training in Libya, so they will be punished as well. So what kind of disease is this? Well, it's the White Plague, and it's called that, um, probably calling uh, to our minds the, uh, the Black Plague, but something different, and also it's got uh, white patches as one of the the symptoms of it but what it does is actually it kills all women any woman who gets infected by this disease there is a 100 percent death rate that is terrifying and is easily transmittable now you can see why this was so scary because in this it talks a lot uh, about lockdowns uh, about um uh, putting up barriers and, and trying to prevent the, the uh, expansion of this worldwide pandemic, which sounds really, really familiar. Uh, thankfully, COVID-19 was uh, nothing like this, but um, I, I would say that I probably read this in a different way than if I had read it, say, before 2020. Um, anyways, uh, the... The, uh, the scientist, uh, he warns the, the countries of the world to uh, block off Ireland, Britain, and Libya uh, to not let the plague go beyond them, uh, which of course doesn't work, and it ends up that the plague uh, goes all over the place, and uh, a large, large percentage of women in the world uh, die from this, which again is absolutely terrifying. And... Uh, uh, what I what I liked about this book is Frank Herbert is really good at developing characters. Um, even the uh, the the guy who is responsible uh, is very a th very much a three dimensional character. That you really get a sense of who he is, and uh, and then all of the other people who are a part of this, whether they are uh, a president of the United States or uh, a scientist who's working on trying to get a 
Cure or um, some of the uh, the figures in, in Ireland uh, who are on a very specific journey. Uh, all of the things that happen here, uh, I'm, I just was really drawn into this story. And so uh, I would recommend this book. If you're looking for a good novel, uh, Frank Herbert's The White Plague. It's, it's very good. And uh, please visit me at my website, stephenjbedard.com. Thank you, and God bless.